Hey everyone, it's Deborah Stern from Foodprint for Life and this is my YouTube channel. So today what I want to do is I want to show you um, some bands that I found that I love um, to help with butt exercises and hip exercises. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put the camera down for a second. Um, these are the bands that I found. The coolest part about it is that on the inside, they have kind of like this sticky, um, you know, tread so that it doesn't roll up your leg. They're also thick enough that, again, they do not roll into your skin and pinch your skin. Um, a lot of the other ones do. So I found these. I think they're great. Um, I'm going to show you how to do. These are the classic clams for your hips. Um, I do them a little differently and I'm gonna show you with and without the band because you do not have to have a band in order to do the exercise. But what I like to do is I like to lay on my side and I actually bring my legs at a 90 degree angle. Um, a lot of people keep them their legs back here. That's fine if it feels better for you. I feel like I get a better um, range of motion and more work in my glutes and hips from this position. So what I'm going to do, there are two ways of doing it. When I have the band, I keep my feet together. So all I do is I lift and that's as high as I can go. I keep my front hand here so that I'm not leaning back because what happens most of the time is we have a tendency to kind of pull and move and then we're not focusing here. Um, so it's a small move. I hold for a count of two. I go nice and slow down and I go right back up and I hold for a count of two and I go as far as I can. I mean, this is all I can do, um, with the band because it's, it's hard. They're very hard, but they're very effective. Now, if you decided, or if you don't have a band, then the way that I will do it is same position but I will lift my leg much higher, again, keeping my body as steady as possible. And instead of thinking of lifting from my foot or from here, it's from here. So this is where I'm lifting and that's where I'm coming down. Now, I don't want this. That's not gonna do anything. I want you to pay attention. Four count up, hold, four count down right back up hold you're gonna say to me okay but that's a lot harder and i'm gonna say yeah it is and it hurts and it burns but these are so awesome for again preventative measures in the future um because when your hips are strong and you've worked on them like this you will be able to walk better You'll be able to keep balance better and your whole lower body will just work better, okay? Um, now, these are painful, <laughs> they burn. So, when you're done with both sides, and you can do it in the middle too before you do the other side, but the best way to stretch it is to cross one leg Okay, and then you're gonna bring the other leg up. One hand, this hand goes through here and you can just kind of hold. Now you don't wanna pull back so that your back is up off the ground. You wanna keep your hips down and just feel, I'll do it from this side, because it's this hip that's working that it's stretching. So again, I take my hands through my legs I'm actually kind of using my elbow too to push my leg out a little bit. You don't have to do that. You also can lift this part of the leg and push that leg a little bit to get a stronger um, stretch. But again, you wanna be careful that you don't lift your hips up and that you're not in your lower back. But it's again, it's a great stretch because they will burn. Um, so I recommend doing probably about uh, 15 to 20 on each side. It's going to burn, but if, if you stretch in between, stretch in between. If you find that you cannot keep your form, then don't do so many. 
Do as many as you can. Do as many as you can with the right form and then you'll kind of know from there how many more you can do after that. But if you start, you know, like, letting your body go back and forth and if you're struggling and you're like pulling it's it just it isn't worth it okay so i hope that that helps i hope it works i will leave the um name of the bands underneath um i would love for you sub to subscribe to my youtube channel and just press that button subscribe that would help me a lot and i hope i'm helping you guys all right have a good day